The AIDS pandemic did not appear in the 80s. Far from that. In the early 1900s, Cameroonian hunters got infected when manipulating meat from a diseased monkey. But the virus only spread for one reason, colonialism. It happened in four steps. First, Thousands of men were gathered in Congo to develop commercial infrastructures in colonial cities like Brazzaville. One of them was carrying the virus. Two, to reduce costs, colons ruling those forced labor camps decide that workers may not bring their families with them. Prostitution rises as a result, and the virus starts to spread amongst workers, fragilized by their poor living standards. Three, colonial health officials decide to fight venereal diseases and launch mass campaigns of injections. However, they do not sterilize needles between patients. The virus spreads further. After 40 years of circulation in Congo, the virus has perfectly adapted to the human immune system. Four. In 1960, as the two Congos win their independence, the following social crisis worsens prostitution and the spread of HIV. A Haitian carer traveling to Kinshasa brings the virus back to the Caribbean. It then spreads in the States before reaching Europe. Since its medical discovery in 1981, AIDS has made over 40 million victims around the world and still over 1 million every year in Africa. Today, preventive treatments like PrEP and antiretroviral therapy allow us to control the virus. Nonetheless, their fair accessibility remains a huge global challenge.